Hello people out in YouTube land. It's really been a while since my last video and there are many reasons for this. The main reason is there was a lot of stuff going on in the Bitwig landscape. For example, we had the appearance of Bitwig version 2 and then straight after that 2.1 and I was both involved into the alpha and beta testing which was quite time consuming. Also there were a lot of uh, changes and extensions to the API so what you can do with programming the controllers. And in that area we had also a very big change which was maybe not noticed by too many people. The change was that we now can program and implement the scripting for controllers with Java. Not only JavaScript, now it's Java. And this had also the change that is called now extensions. And extensions is basically a book compiled Java program which everything is packed together in one file. What is the advantage now you have when we change to Java? First, it's much nicer for developers. You finally have a proper debugger. You can work like you're used to when you do implementing and Java is a type language, so it's much easier to spot bugs. So it's also better for the users because they have less errors in their software and uh, it's a much better experience for you. You will see a better performance and the installation is much easier as well. Such an installation can also contain multiple devices at once. So it looks like that. If you go to the normal Bitwig folder where your documents might be located and there are also the previous controller scripts. By the way, they are still working so you can still use the old scripts. But besides that, there is now a new folder called extensions. And in that extensions folder, you simply drop your extension which you get from developers. So for example, my extension is now only called driven by Moss and this contains all the stuff I'm writing for the user it's pretty simple you just drop that file and you are basically set to get this as usual you go to my homepage and there you go to music software and Bitwig and then the download has slightly changed there is now only one download file in that zip file contains basically that extension file you saw with some additional resource files which you might need for several controllers like templates and stuff like that and also on that page there is the reference now to a new wiki and because I put everything together in that wiki on GitHub, there is now the full documentation for all extensions I'm working on now. And so you have one place to go and there is also again the installation instructions which basically just explains that you have to drop that file but here are also the different locations you will find for your operating system and there is some comment on specific controllers or open sound control if you want to use them if you start bitweek then and you come up with a control extension and you assign it there's also now a new feature click with the right mouse button on a header of such a extension or a script you have now the new function refill file which directly brings you to that folder we have been there before so pretty handy if you want to find out if you really have loaded the correct script you wanted to have uh, or the correct extension that was basically the quick introduction to what's going on now and how you do now controller extensions and how to install them and there will be more videos coming up with what happened on the controller functionally especially for the Ableton push extension which is also also now rewritten completely in Java which feels much nicer, feels a little bit more snappy and uh, there are a lot of new features with it and I will do some demoing soon. Until then make some funky music!